The challenges of deep water drilling and production operation require a platform that's ideally suited for reliable performance under demanding conditions. Thanks to their inherent stability and simplicity, spars are easier to operate than other floating platforms in deep water environments. Spar platforms do not require active controls. Under normal conditions, the main operating procedures of a spar are ballasting, deballasting, and operating the mooring chain jack system. Even under extreme conditions such as tropical storms and hurricanes, spar platforms remain stable and safe. The U.S. Coast Guard has authorized spar platforms to operate without marine crews due to the simplicity of these systems. Ballasting increases the draft of a spar by pumping water into the variable ballast tanks located at the bottom of the hard tank. The top side supplies water to the ring main header at the top of the spar, and valves are opened or closed to allow the water to fill certain tanks. The opposite of ballasting, deballasting, decreases the draft of a spar by pumping water out of the variable ballast tanks using submersible ballast pumps. Ballasting and deballasting operations occur during the installation phase, during required inspections, and whenever there is a significant change in payload. Spars do not have sea chests. All ballasting and deballasting is accomplished by adding and removing water to and from the ballast tanks individually. This makes the spar a more robust floating structure. The mooring chain jack system can move the spar to an offset position by pulling in or paying out a specified number of chain links on various mooring lines. This allows the platform to be moved over different wells for drilling or workover purposes. On a spar, top tensioned risers are traditionally supported by buoyancy cans or hydraulic tensioners. Many events can cause the dry tree risers to move up or down, including platform offset, heave and pitch, draft variations, tides, subsidence, wellhead stick-up, and production start-up or shut-in. Both support systems allow the spar to move without damaging the risers, and neither system requires any active management. Spars can be relocated from one field to another after an oil or gas reservoir is depleted. The process is relatively simple. Retrieve the risers, disconnect the mooring lines, and tow the spar to the new location. The top size and top tension riser support systems, whether buoyancy cans or tensioners, can remain in place on the spar. As you can see, spar platforms are ideal for the challenges of deep water drilling and production, and only one company has the world-class technical skills and practical experience to produce the results you expect. Technip.